This is the beautiful city of Venice, full of water, boats, and sinking buildings? Believe it or not, Venice sinks a little every year, potentially faster than previously thought. Venice was once built on a terrible site, and against all odds, it has come down to us in surprisingly good condition. In the early Middle Ages, when the foundation of Venice was laid, the inhabitants of the Veneto region were seeking refuge from barbarian invasions, particularly following the fall of the Roman Empire. The lagoon, a shallow body of water separated from the sea where Venice is situated, provided a natural barrier against invaders, making it an ideal place for a secure settlement. In the early days, Venice was more than just a challenge to live in, with its frequent flooding and less than ideal living conditions. But the original Venetians were up for the challenge. They came up with an innovative solution to build their city right on the water. How? By driving deep, sturdy piles into the lagoon's floor, creating a strong base that rose above the water. This wasn't just any foundation, it was the start of something extraordinary. On these solid stilts, they began constructing their homes. And it didn't stop there. Soon, this unique foundation gave rise to some of the most stunning Baroque architecture in Byzantine churches, including the iconic St. Mark's Cathedral in the famous St. Mark's Square. However, Venice's unique location has its downsides. The city has faced subsidence for centuries, with landmarks like the original bell tower of St. Mark's collapsing in 1902. Some experts believe that Venice's subsidence is largely due to the ground it is built on. Subsidence, the gradual sinking of land, is partly due to the soft sediment it's built on, compressing under the city's weight. In addition, the lagoon is located on the edge of the Adriatic microplate, which has been sinking under the Eurasian plate for thousands of years. This is nothing more than the natural movement of the Earth's crust, but it only accelerates the process of disappearance. These are not the only reasons why Venice, the Serenissima, is sinking under the lagoon. The phenomenon known as aqua alta, or higher water, is increasing in frequency, caused mainly by the passage of large ocean liners and motorboats through its canals. Venice is famous for its gondolas, and there's an interesting reason behind their unique design. Gondolas are built without a keel. That's the part you usually see running along the bottom of most boats. Instead, they're skillfully navigated through the canals using a long oar. This design is quite intentional. It ensures that the gondolas glide gently over the waters without disturbing the canal beds. Beneath the serene waterways of Venice lie wooden piles that support the city's buildings. These piles are crucial for maintaining the structure and stability of Venice. However, there's a challenge. The rise of motorboat traffic in the canals. These motorboats, unlike gondolas, can churn up the silt and water, exposing the wooden piles to air. When these piles come into contact with air, a process called oxidation starts. This exposure can lead to the deterioration of the wood. Normally, these piles are safe from decay because they are submerged underwater, away from air. Underwater, in an oxygen-free environment, the wood can last for centuries without rotting. But once exposed to air, they begin to degrade, posing a threat to the integrity of Venice's historic buildings. This begs the question, are we contributing to the decline of Venice? In recent times, the focus on preserving Venice's unique heritage hasn't been as strong as it should be. One major issue has been the development of industrial areas around the city. This industrialization has led to poor water circulation, mainly due to the land drying out. A particularly alarming fact is that back in the 1950s, a massive amount of water, about 40,000 cubic meters, was being pumped out from under Venice every day. This extraction of water caused the city to sink even more. To put it in perspective, as a result of these activities, the city sank by about 13 centimeters over 30 years. Thankfully, once this issue was recognized, the extraction of water was stopped to prevent further damage. However, the impact of these past actions continues to contribute to the challenges faced by Venice today. The city is also suffering from the effects of climate change. Since the sea level has risen and the tides have become stronger, why is this a threat? The evaporation of water means that residual salt remains in the buildings and crystallizes. This crystallization process causes the bricks to crack. However, the Venetians found the solution in an ambitious project that would bring peace to their citizens. The Venetian authorities have undertaken the Mose project, an extensive flood barrier system with an estimated cost of around 8 billion euros. 
This significant project has already installed mobile barriers designed to block the influx of high waters into the lagoon during aqua alta periods, representing a considerable investment in protecting Venice from the impacts of flooding. Nevertheless, the process might buy Venice time, but experts predict that by the end of the century, Venice will be virtually uninhabitable, with places like St. Mark's permanently underwater. Yet, there's another factor exacerbating Venice's plight. Mass tourism. Once a key driver of the city's economy, it now contributes to its gradual decline. This surge of tourism has escalated the erosion of canals, the overcrowding of public spaces, and the general wear on the city's infrastructure. As we observe Venice grappling with both natural forces and the consequences of human actions, it becomes evident that the city's future hangs in a delicate equilibrium. Every visit to this enchanting city now carries a deeper significance, a reminder of our collective role in preserving this irreplaceable world heritage. Understanding Venice's fragile existence, we are compelled to ponder our impact and the legacy we wish to leave for one of the world's most extraordinary cities. If this journey through Venice's challenges and resilience has resonated with you, please subscribe for more enlightening content. Until next time, Let's contemplate our role in preserving the beauty and legacy of Venice.